Well, 65% of businesses in the city are actually independently run. Uh, they're actually run by the person that owns that business. And, and a lot of those businesses really make York a very special sort of place. Uh, there are not many cities that have got that level of independent businesses in them. York is really a city of independence. There are obviously all the main uh, chains and so on, of which they're obviously a major part of the city. But the independence will give it that special flavour and really York is a, a, a place, a, a medieval and Georgian and Victorian city primarily, and really those buildings suit independence. And there couldn't really be anything other than that. Uh, but the specialness of those, of those businesses is what we're trying to put over to people. One, to, uh, for, for the business, uh, sorry, for the uh, local visitors, uh, but mainly for residents, because residents uh, are, are our main, are, are the people that support us the most. And in our first period, we had 30 members. But now the numbers have increased over the last four years. We're now up to over 200. Uh, well, on, on Tuesday, uh, we're having our, our, our launch the new website and that website is very much uh, a, an online version of the map uh, it will take you into those businesses and give you far more detail so it's an interactive version of, of what's what's on the paper map uh, and really it, it encourages people to search out those businesses because quite often people are not really aware of the of the fact that such a huge number of independents are out there uh, and Often, independence creates something a bit more special, a bit more interesting than you say same old, same old. And uh, uh, we think that the new website is absolutely brilliant. We're, uh, we're utterly delighted with it. So we're having a launch to celebrate the launch of that, but also the fact that we've now gone past this 200 member mark.